I started drinking when I was about 12. When I was 16, I was in an automobile wreck and killed people. And I decided that the day I graduated high school, I would leave and go to New York. And the Broadway Limited Amtrak stopped through my hometown outside of Akron. And I had a cardboard suitcase with jeans, a white shirt, a blue blazer, a carton of Camel non-filters, and a bottle of teacher's scotch. And off I went to New York City. Doctors, lawyers, my wife, friends, none of them could help me. First time I ever met him, he goes, hey kid, you got any weed? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, sure, oh man, we're gonna get along really yeah, great. Yeah, good, I'm glad we're, glad we're working together. <laughs> <laughs> Let's roll one. <laughs> but it started out, we actually did drugs together. I know now why I wanted to be an actor. Almost to a point of being psychotic, I could absorb myself in a character because I so didn't want to be me. It was the only time I was comfortable living. It was another way of drinking. And for a couple hours, I had relief, just like you get from booze. What I needed was to talk to another drunk who needed me as much as I needed him. Yeah, there's cups right in there. Hey, sir, how are you? Good morning. See you. Good morning. Good morning. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, the wisdom to know the difference. Fifteen years ago, I became emotionally obsessed with Bill on a human level. I had such identification beyond being an alcoholic. And um, in the wintertime, I was caught in a great blizzard and I had some CDs with me in the car and I was digging around the bottom of the bag and I pulled this CD out. I was like, what is this? AA was for a drop. No matter what complications are And I look, and it's uh, Bill Wilson making a speech. And I'm just listening to this and listening to the voice and driving down that dark road and watching the snow. It was very hypnotic. I had such identification with Bill. And I called Richard, woke him up, and I was like, Richard, I'm listening to this thing of Bill W. That's what we're going to do. Gary Kimball and Richard Springle are going to tell us about the national debut of Pass It On. And the play is staged as though you're at an old time recovery meeting. Like an AA and, meeting? Yes, okay. with Bill and Bob. Is it a serious thing? I or like is to it call a... it a comedy with tragic relief. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you guys are doing a fundraiser. The funds from this production will support housing for women in recovery. It reunites mothers and their children. We'll save hundreds, thousands, millions. <laughs> Let's just get one more. <laughs> I'm an asshole sometimes. And, um, and I hurt his feelings, and that means something to me because I care about the man. Can you understand that I gotta have it? Can you stop trying to save me? We had a lot of difficulty personally. And then at one point after doing it for a while, he just pulled the plug without any discussion and left me high and dry.
I have a very stressful time and I'm really suffering. I'm not, I don't feel any danger of drinking, but my life sucks and my life is painful. It happens every night as the sun goes down and I'm in this apartment and I start getting spooked and feeling isolated and um, I start craving foods. And I'll fight with myself and I'll just grip the bed and try to distract myself. And it's almost like, you know, when you want your heroin or something. Everything was colored in these colored dots, my body, my legs, the floor, Harry Pitchett. And it was like this incredible gift. It was like a beginning of awakening. I needed to make a big change in my life. I, I had to break free. I was like trapped in this labyrinth. And now I'm here in Florida. This one? No way, that's, that's yeah. different. It's crazy how far you came. It is. Crazy how far you've come. It is. Everybody in this room. Yeah. I only work with guys who are willing to do the work. Because I'm going to be up your ass 24 7. I'm not giving you suggestions. I'm going to tell you what to do. If you don't do the work, don't waste my time, because there's hundreds of kids dying. It's going to be one of the hardest things you've ever done in your life. Do you have the courage to do it? What's up, brother? What's up, buddy? You doing good? Good, how about yourself? Good. I, I just want to, I want to make amends for, I shouldn't have done what I did, you know, and I'm, you know, I am sorry for what I did to you. I appreciate it, Kevin. I'm sorry, too. You know, I, I had a conversation with Gary. We talked about my side of the street, you know, what I did wrong, what I could have done better, you know, and I came up short as well, you know. So part of my, my ninth step, my amends to you is, you know, apologizing for not coming to you instead, you know, and just talking to you man to man about it. We'll be on the same page. I love you, bro. Come here. Me too. Well, when Gary left, he cut me out of his life. He shut me off from his emails and his, all of his accounts. I couldn't, he didn't want to communicate. Working with Gary is like juggling fire batons. And as long as you were very skilled, you didn't get burned. But eventually, you got to put those batons down and I kind of got to where I, I just needed to get out, I guess. Hey, baby. Hi. <laughs> oh, you silly boy. <laughs> Yesterday, I received a text from one of my sponsees who's in and out a lot. I never know if he's alive or dead. And he had disappeared, and he resurfaced. This is him on a gurney in the hospital, reaching out for help.
God bless him. I'll never give up on the kid. Nothing makes the human heart sing a sweeter song than helping other people who suffer. And uh, my whole life is about helping addicts. I've devoted my life to that. If you look up sobriety in the dictionary, it means integrity, clear-headedness, peace of mind. And finally, after all these years, I have peace of mind. My name is Gary Kay, grateful, recovered, alcoholic, and addict. Hey, Gary. Hi, my name is Marianne. I'm an alcoholic. Hi, Marianne. I'm Stu. I'm an alcoholic. Hi, Stu. I'm Steve. I'm a drug addict and alcoholic. Hi, Steve. I'm Bob Alcoholic. Hi, Bob. I am Russ Alcoholic. Hi, Russ. My name is Bob. I'm an alcoholic. Hi, Bob. Hey, Bob.